What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know him in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive S&D gameplay. My capture card is still not working properly, so these are old gameplays, kind of. They're, like, within the last week or two. Um, and I'm trying to space them out now, so I'm back to my regular upload schedule, but, yeah, the, the match that this is from, we actually played them twice on the same day, because it was a PGL match, so I have several gameplays to use from this match. Uh, one of the guys, uh, Perfect Vibes, I believe, that's his gamer tag, yeah. That should be it. Um, he was real chill, you know. Me and him were messaging back and forth afterwards, so it was pretty cool. But I need to use gameplays, so and I know he watches my videos now, so I'm sorry if you're upset at me using the gameplay. But oh well, it's it's whatever. You can use gameplays against me. I'm sure people have done it before. But anyway, uh, so yeah, it's actually um 10:30 at night my time right now when I'm making this video. But I promised you guys one for today on my Twitter account, so. Yeah, I gotta do it. So, uh, somebody asked me a question, so I'm making a video response to it. Basically, it's tips on improving your aims, kind of, slash winning gunfights. I might need to make another video for that. It just depends on how much time we have. So, you know, some of this goes towards both, but basically, there's two categories I'm going to get into. The first one is one that not a lot of people really talk about when they make videos on this, and this is just kind of the things that you can do outside of the game to help improve your aim slash, you know, overall performance as well. So, what what you can do is, the, there's actually almost like two subcategories in this first category, but wh whatever, okay, there's some things that you can buy um, that will help your aim. The first one is Control Freaks. This is the biggest factor, I find, with aim as far as the products that you can buy. And basically, they are thumbstick extensions, and they just help improve your aim. They have different ones designed for, you know, an AR shot, a sniper shot, racing games. They have submachine gun ones, or supposedly, they. I find, you know, you can use them for whatever you want. But, um, yeah, they, they usually help quite a bit with the aim, so I recommend those. They're only like 10 bucks, 15 bucks, something like that. Next thing you can do is buy squid grips, which is like a grip on your controller. Uh, that just you know helps you grip it better if you, if you have sweaty hands I've, it might you know help your aim a little bit there it's not a huge thing um, and then just the last thing this kind of is kind of towards helping you win gunfights but it could kind of help with your aim and that would be buying a scuff controller or a shark controller I am sponsored by shark the code is in the description below but anyway those controllers you know just have the paddles and they have the trigger stops so you can you know shoot better jump shot drop shot easier knife things like that so just consider that uh, next little thing is um, making sure that you're comfortable and this will help your aim you know when I'm not comfortable when I'm playing my aim just goes kaput I'm not concentrating well or anything and it's just, it's just all over the place so make sure that you know you have a nice comfortable chair uh, make sure that there's no glare on your screen. This could mean turning out the lights in the room, which I always recommend, and also staying away from windows, if at all possible, with your setup, or draw some blinds up or something. Um, also, make sure that you're in a good mood. Of course, you know if you're trying to go pro with this and everything, there are going to be days that you need to play where you're not in a good mood and some of these other things, but for best performance when you're trying to start improving your aim, you want to be in a good mood. Uh, you also don't want to be playing when you're tired because that's going to slow down your reaction time and your aim is going to be really off. Also don't play when you are distracted because when you're distracted you're just all over the place and it's it's not going to work. So those outside things can help you improve your aim but the the next section here is the main focus and this is what most people kind of go over. Hopefully some of it will help you guys. So the first thing, and this is the most important thing when helping your aim, is your controller sensitivity. Um, I would recommend, basically, lower is better when it comes to winning your gunfights. Um, even if you're not competitive, you will win more gunfights if you lower your sensitivity, as long as you still have your map awareness so that you're not having to constantly turn around and everything. But basically, I would recommend anywhere from a 3 to a 6, and that's kind of a high end really it should be more like three to five but you know some people are successful a little bit higher in the competitive world and in the pub stomping world but typically stay on the lower side uh, lower for ARs because uh, you're gonna be doing more long-range shooting 
Um, you can have a little bit higher with the submachine gun. You're going to be in more close range gunfights. You'll have to turn more. So that that's kind of my theory with it. But still, you know, try and try and stay between three and five, mostly maybe up to a six. Uh, next thing is have your controller layout set to tactical, even if you have a scuff or a shark controller or whatever you have. Uh, this will allow you to drop shot better and. You know, you gotta work on your aim while you're doing the drop shotting and everything, but this will help you win those gunfights. Um, and you you can just practice and you'll you'll get that aim down. Um, a lot of times it'll throw other people's aim off, so you know it it can work. Uh, next thing is aim for the center mass. Don't be aiming necessarily for the head or for the feet or for the sides, because also the one thing to talk about here is the ghillie suits. I know they're banned now in competitive, but if you're playing public matches, you might still come across this or some weird tournament that allows them. Um, the hitboxes for all the characters, whether you have a ghillie suit, whether you're male, female, are in the same location. So with the ghillie suit, it looks like you're hitting them on your screen, but you're really not. You're hitting just that little foilage stuff on the side so make sure you're aiming for center mass also this means that when you flinch and everything with your gun you're you're gonna be hitting either to the left right up or down you're still gonna be hitting the person so that's the thing also then if they jump shot or drop shot you are still hitting them most likely so it's it's just what you want to be aiming for the majority of the time if you're sniping you might want to be aiming a little bit above center mass but that's just kind of the general guidelines that I go by uh, next thing is find your preference between strafing versus using the right uh, the right stick to aim. And what I mean by this is I know there are some pro players, especially back in Black Ops 2, some of them would strafe more to get their aim locked on and some would use the right stick way more. And of course you're still going to be using the right stick to aim no matter what you do, but some of them would strafe more. Like I, I know Nade Shot preferred to strafe more to get his aim on. It was just easier. He found he wasn't you know, he, he was aiming better with that. So that's just something to think about. If you're an AR player, you're probably going to be having to use the right stick because there's not much strafe going on since Stalker is banned this time around. But that's just something to consider. Uh, quick tip for snipers on improving your aim. If they are running, like, not in a straight line towards you or away from you, they're running, you know, at a 90 degree angle, make sure you lead your shots a little bit. There's online latency. I haven't been to a LAN. At a LAN, you can probably aim right on them and you can get the kill, but in an online setting, lead your shot a little bit. You'll get the kill more likely, more of the time and everything. So, quick tip for you guys. Also, make sure you're using focus and dead silence. Uh, dead silence will help you win you know, more gunfights, less people will hear you, but the focus is going to improve your aim a lot if you're not already using focus. Um, it's just going to you know, help you keep on target more often. Next thing and pretty much the last thing as far as improving your aim is just plain old practice you've got to practice practice makes perfect um, it's a very difficult thing for people who are just getting into competitive or for people who are just starting to play but it's a skill that you need to develop gun skill is something that everybody can improve on and you know it's it's one of those things that even if you're not the smartest player you can you can do it like you, you'll learn it over time throughout through practice and it just takes a little while to develop your shot. You know, sometimes it'll still go shaky, but you, you can work through it. You know, just try and get into a consistent mode. Make sure you're playing, you know, fairly often. You don't want to take giant breaks. Then your aim will go way off again, and you'll have to get used to it again. So hopefully these tips helped you guys out. Uh, so as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe if you didn't. Then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.